Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video, and finally guys, it's here. Uh, I know it's been long, I haven't uploaded any video related to hacking, except the podcast. By the way, uh, I know you guys have been saying whether or not I'm gonna be, it's, the podcast is available on iTunes. I'm currently working on that to basically happen, um, so let's get started. So in this video, uh, uh, actually, a script developer contacted me and asked me if I could showcase his script for Kali Linux. And I said, why not? Let me give it a try. Let's see what it's all about. And it's pretty, pretty awesome. So I'm basically going to be guiding you on installing it and how to use it. And hopefully I, we can basically uh, uh, get an idea of what it is. So the link uh, to the uh, to the GitHub repository for this script is going to be in the description section. So you make sure to check that out if you guys are interested in the script. Um, again, this is going to be the environment, this Kali Linux environment that I'm going to be working on. Uh, many of you guys wanted Paratoise videos. Those are also coming really, really quickly. So um, let's get started. So uh, what you want to do again uh, is you want to make sure you just open up your browser. I'm guessing if you're running this on Kali Linux, uh, you want to use Firefox. For some reason, it's taking too long. Now, I believe I visited the page uh, prior, I think yesterday, just to test it out. And here we are. That's the page right here. Uh, so let me just open that up. Hopefully, uh, it does open that up. I am connected to the Internet. Uh, let me just open that in a new tab right there. So we can close that out. And here we are. This is the web page. Again, link will be in the description section. So basically, uh, this is the, the developer who contacted me and asked me to uh, do a review on his script. So let's actually get started. So I'm sure most of you guys know how to install uh, from GitHub. If you don't, just open up your terminal and you just want to hit, uh, you make sure you have git installed. Just hit sudo apt get git, uh, like so, apt get uh, git. Uh, Kali Linux, I'm sure, comes with um, with Git, so you can make sure you have that installed. So basically, to add a repository, uh, we're going to say git clone. You then want to go to the uh, repository right here, and it's you want to go here and say uh, clone or download. It's going to say clone. This is the uh, this the link that you want to copy right here. Copy that to your clipboard, and you just want to paste that right here. So git clone, paste that right here. Uh, obviously, my my working directory is the home directory, so that's where the folder is going to be stored. But for this demonstration, what I'm going to do is uh, let me just copy this entire command so I don't have to write it down. I'm going to save it on the desktop so you can see what the file looks like. All right. So uh, let's uh, let me just go to my desktop. Desktop. There we are. So that's my desktop. It's it's clean so we can now paste this and we can make that work from there so it's going to start it's going to download the files as you can see here's the folder l script so now what we want to do if we uh, check the files on the desktop we have the l script uh, folder so i'm going to enter the l script folder uh, by the way the developer has made it really really simple to install so we're inside the folder let's check what we have we have the install.sh uh, it's not going to uh, basically if we try and run it uh, the normal way we would try and run an install script uh, sh you would see we'd get an error permission denied um, so basically what you have to do is you have to use chmod uh, plus x to change permissions and um, install.sh to give us permissions now if we run the if we check the files as you can see the install.sh is active that means we have permission to run or install it so let's do that install.sh i uh, hope i'm not going too fast all right it's going to script really really great installation process as you can see so basically um uh just hit it's going to say installing the script it's going to say fixing permissions uh so basically it's going to say are you updating or installing the script so i am uh, i think i already have it installed so I'll say I'm updating if you guys are installing or let's actually just use installing. So I so adding L scripts done. It's going to give you some pretty good, uh, some funny, funny comments that the developers left. Oops, what did I do there? 
Um, okay, I, I think I actually know what happened there. Basically, uh, it, I'm probably sure that you guys are not going to get this error. So what I'm going to do is um, if I just try and type after it's installed, it's going to ask you. Actually, I think I should show you the complete installation process. Um, CDL script. Let me just enter the folder again and uh, uh, run the installation again. I'm going to... All right, it's, it's going to run it for me. That's I think that the reason I'm getting this error is because I'm actually um, I've actually installed this script. So that's probably the reason uh, I should have actually got uh, uninstall it. So I'm going to hit updating. All right. So uh, again, there's a change log. Pretty cool. All right. So it's going to open it for us. All right, so it's basically installed. Now, uh, if you're doing a fresh installation, it's going to ask you to basically um, to configure your, your wireless uh, cards, uh, the interface names. So it's probably going to ask you for your Wi-Fi card name. To do that, just check uh, IW config, uh, sorry, IF config. That's going to basically show you your your wireless card uh, names as you can see LAN this is probably if you're using Wi-Fi this is going to be your interface name and if you're using Ethernet that's going to be the name Ethernet 0 uh, wi uh, wireless uh, WLAN 0 it's then going to ask you uh, for your interface names in managed mode now uh, maybe some of you guys know what managed mode is uh, I mean when it's in monitor mode excuse me so if I hit IF IW config it's going to show me my current um, interface cards and, you, and you, as you can see I have my uh, LAN 0 that's currently active I'm actually using Ethernet right now but if you're using my LAN 0 you'll see that the mode is managed so we want to change it to monitor mode not managed mode uh, I think you guys know how to do that it's mon ng that's one way of doing it mon ng start uh, start LAN LAN 0 all right and it's going to start monitor mode for my Wi-Fi card. And it's going to say that um, the interface name now is LAN, mon, LAN 0 mon. So the, for the second option, it's going to ask you for the name of your, of your interface card when in monitor mode. And that's the name it's probably going to be. So once you've done that, uh, you can then type F, I mean, sorry, L. To basically run the lazy script command, just hit L. Uh, I've accepted the terms. This tool is for educational purposes only. Use this tool on your own network and never without permission. Uh, the basic stuff right there. And it's going to ask you to basically, it's asking whether you accept the terms. So yes, I do. And uh, it's, again, this is what I was telling. It's going to ask you for the name of your, or in managed mode, what's the name of your Wi-Fi card? So we checked and we know it's LAN 0. Probably that's what your, it's going to be for you. Enter the name of your wireless interface when in monitor mode. Again, I showed you how to do that. LAN 0 MON. All right. And then it's going to say done. And if you want to change it, you can type interface at any time. Really, really great user interface created. Uh, by the way, this is the developer name. I don't really know how to pronounce uh, this, but this his first name is Aris. So a huge shout out to Aris. Um, so there we are. We have the lazy script. Pretty cool. So basically, you have all your options in terms of numbers. That's probably how you, I'm sure most of you understand how that works. So you have your, you type if uh, for if config. Uh, basically, what the purpose of this script is doing is making everything easier for you instead of opening multiple terminals when you're configuring your working environment. So let's say you wanted to enable your wireless card, you could hit one. You wanted to enable monitor mode, you can hit two. You want to change your MAC address. Again, this is something most of you don't like doing manually so you could do it so it's going to ask you let's try that so it's going to ask you what uh, what the mac address for what interface do you want to change let's say lan 0 uh, so basically change it to a random or specific so i want to change it to random and it's going to do that uh, if i was connected it's probably not allowed me to uh, to do that because i'm i'm currently using a ethernet cable but that works uh, you can then view your public IP, which I'm not going to show you because, again, I want to pro keep myself as safe as possible. Um, you have your um, you have your Anon Surf. So if you have Anon Surf installed, I have made a video on Anon uh, on Anon Surf. 
so you can check that out you can view your current mac you have tools you have handshake you have uh, web hacking man in the middle metasploit so it's really just making everything shorter and easier for you again it's called the lazy script and i guess from that you can deduce what it's all about so uh, another cool thing that is done that i really really liked is uh, this right here the number nine which is tools now the reason for this is because uh, this is the tools that are currently are very very popular on github and are just scripts that you'd find but are very very popular scripts that some of you may or may not know i really don't know so i'm just going to hit i have no uh, additional tools installed so i'm going to hit five we want to install one of these tools and it's going to ask me aha what tools do you want to install so it has the angry ip scanner it has fluxion which is for wi-fi i'm sure most of you guys know it has wi-fi it uh, it has Haku, um, it has Fern, Fern Wi-Fi Cracker. Of course, some of them are, are currently, uh, you won't find them in Kali Linux 2017.1. So they're actually there and some of them are self-independent scripts like the way the lazy script is. And you can install them from here. So let's say we wanted to install uh, Fern. Let's just hit 11. It's going to say installing Fern. It's cloning the GitHub URL. There we are. And that's probably going to start in, it's going to start the installation process. Actually, I shouldn't have clicked on that because uh, it might actually take longer than normal, but uh, just let it install again. It's up to you. Again, this tool is making everything easier for you. There we are. So let's go exit. And oh, actually, I shouldn't have done that. Let's go L. Uh, as you can see, pretty, pretty cool from just by typing L. It's really, really awesome. The ease of access, uh, I have to, have to, uh, you know, I just have to say a huge thanks to Aris for this tool. It's really, really simple to use. So let's say we wanted to check the tools. Uh, nine again. We have um, our Wi-Fi tools, which is Fern. As you can see, Fern is installed. Obviously, red is for things. Xerxes, we have Xerxes, pretty cool. That's, I'm sure most of you DDoSers out there know what Xerxes is. As you can see, caution. <laughs> I'll actually be doing a video on Xerxes very soon. Um, so basically, I have Wi-Fi installed. That comes with um, with Kali Linux. So we have Fern. Let's try and run Fern. I think it's Fern with uh, the GUI. I'm not sure. Uh, actually, we have some errors. That's probably because, again, there we are. So we have Fern Wi-Fi Cracker. Uh, no. Uh, we can select Interface Card, LAN 0. Let's see if that actually works. All right, uh, we can then scan for access points. And uh, I'm pretty sure I have some weapon WPA networks that we can actually get, but that's for another video. So guys, uh, that's basically it for this uh, video. Um, let me actually enter. Uh, let me just exit this terminal and uh, let's run the script again. Again, really simple, just hit L. And you're there so you can check for updates you can fix errors you can change the keyboard shortcuts uh, depending on what you guys want to do uh, you can enable multiple uh, commands at the same time that are actually doing one thing uh, again you can disable your wireless card you can disable monitor mode you can restore the original Mac just an awesome tool that basically does everything for you so I really really encourage you guys to check this out because this is one of the scripts that can save you a lot of time and for beginners it's a great starting point uh, i would recommend that you learn how to do each of these steps yourself because it's very essential that you know that but if you're already experienced in this this is something that can really really help you anyway guys sorry for the long video i just wanted to show you how to install it and to troubleshoot in case you have any problems i just showed you how to install it and update it if that's what you're doing so yeah, uh, pretty, pretty cool tool. Go and check it out for yourself. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section or the, or uh, on any of my social networks. Or if you have uh, Kick, you can use Kick to contact me. Uh, again, you can follow me on my Instagram for updates. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And uh, you will get the next episode of the, uh, of the podcast uh, coming soon. So yeah, guys, that's a mouthful. Uh, have a fantastic day and peace.